Hi, welcome back to Air Engine Research. Uh, for any new viewers, uh, my goal at Air Engine Research is to build an engine that runs on compressed air that is simple, easy to work on, and just about anybody could build it. If you have a metal bandsaw, a drill press, just about all you need in order to build one like I will be showing you in just a short time. It's been uh, about, about nine months since we started with this virus and I haven't really done much other than worked on a few ideas in between. I have a uh, regulator, high, well I guess you would call it a high volume, high pressure compressed air regulator that I've been working on. And also I did some testing <clears throat> in comparison with a six cylinder eccentric air engine that I had built and I went back in 2005 and pulled up a video that I had worked on a combination two-cylinder and a three-cylinder that was built into one machine so that you could use either two-cylinders, three-cylinders, or five-cylinders. Now the difference is the one current is an eccentric and the one back in 2005 is a crankshaft engine and I have found that the crankshaft engine will get about twice as much torque as what the eccentric one will. So right now I'm, I'm working with the 2005 one. I'll show you a video of that shortly. So this is my six cylinder two plate air engine that I had worked on a while back. Four. There on six. Back in uh, 2005, I had built a, a five-cylinder. Two of them work together. They're a little larger and they have a, a smaller throw on the crankshaft than what the other three do. So you can run it with the two cylinders, with the three cylinders, or if you put it in the middle, in that position, it'll run on all five cylinders to give you maximum power. The six-cylinder eccentric engine that I created here at last doesn't seem to be giving me the, the torque that this one will. And the six-cylinder eccentric has to run at higher speeds in order to even come close to the same torque. So you use more air for the same amount of torque than you would with this one at a lower RPM, but with the, the crankshaft design, it gives more torque. And this one runs pretty good. Uh, the valves that are up at the top are all accessible when you need to do anything without taking anything other than each one apart. The cylinders can be removed individually if you need to. On the crankshaft, those can be disconnected and this whole cylinder can be taken out and replaced. Uh, all in all, it's a much less complicated engine than what the six-cylinder eccentric is and it's not near as large or 
is heavy. So I'm going to do some testing on this and do some consideration with putting this back on my test vehicle and get a little bit more information about the distance you can go on the amount of air that it requires and at what pressures it would have to be operated at. But it runs pretty smooth, so I thought I'd just show you some pictures of it. If I put it on the, the two cylinders in this position, it won't start unless it happens to be in the right position. So we'll, we'll see if it is or not. Better than that position and just change from one valve to the other. That's all five of them. That's three of them. Again, all of the valves and all of the parts that actually makes it operate are mounted right straight up on top. So it's easy if you need to do any adjusting on valves. And I just have this temporarily set up on here. It actually goes on the other side of the engine over here when it's mounted on the vehicle. This is a, a torsion thing. I've got it wired on here so that it stays out of the way, but it will come down. And I'm using a pulley instead of a chain because when I had this mounted back in 2005, I was using a pulley on the axle. So I went ahead and put it back together the same way it was when I used it back in 2005. So. In a way, I'm quite happy with it, and as I do more testing on it, I will keep you posted and do some more videos. So, for now, I'll just say so long for today. And I guess now, since you've seen the video on the 2005 machine, you can see that it's fairly noisy. That's because it was built basically with using standard drills on a drill press and using a metal bandsaw to cut some of the pipe and things like that. Uh, everything was bolted together except for the crankshaft and the end of the cylinders. I did have to have those welded, but everything else was handmade and put together and runs fairly well. Some of the items like the valves that are used to control the air that you know was purchased along with some standard uh, angle iron and pieces of metal, square metal, round metal, pipe and so on along with the uh, quarter inch bolts and nuts and things that I purchased. But anyway I'm Pretty well satisfied with how it's going and I'm going to be doing some more testing like I say with the uh, both of the different engines and as I do I'll keep you posted with what my results were. The next couple little short videos uh, is where I actually drove the test vehicle 
and the first one is my six cylinder eccentric engine and the cure ratio on it is like four engine RPMs to one tire rotation and the second one with the crankshaft uh, two three five combination is running at 2.25 rotations of the engine to one tire and as you can see it it goes up the incline pretty easy compared to the other one where the only way I could get up was get off and push it. The first one, the six cylinder, had 200 PSI pressure and the second one with the crankshaft it was running at 150 PSI and it was enough to make it go up the hill pretty easy as you can see. cases you're going to have to use a transmission with the engines. The gear ratio that I'm running right now would be like trying to start off with a standard transmission in third gear without revving the engine up. It just wouldn't do it. But the compressed air, it is maximum torque as soon as you turn the air on. So that's why at least now I can, I can run it in that higher gear ratio without a transmission. So thank you for checking in and for you new subscribers, I hope you'll subscribe if you're interested in what we're doing. But anyway, thumbs up will be appreciated. So long.